This is all about Musasi being 24 years old and having 28 fights already. Babalu's 33 years old. He's an old timer. He's got the experience. But can he pull it out in this match? Musasi told us yesterday that he is going to make Babalu Sabral work. Now let's go inside the cage for the introductions. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. All right, fans, here we go as Strike Force and Showtime present five five minute rounds in a special attraction for the Strike Force Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing to you first the challenger on my left, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a freestyle fighter known for his boxing and kickboxing domination. His record stands at 25 wins, two losses, and one draw. Tonight, making his anticipated U.S. debut, please welcome the highly regarded international sensation known as the dream catcher, introducing Gary. His opponent across the cage on my right, fighting out of the red corner, the defending champion, a freestyle fighter with a storied background in Brazilian jiu-jitsu and wrestling. His record stands at 35 wins and eight losses. Tonight, making the first defense of his title, here is the Strike Force light heavyweight champion of the world, introducing Renato Babalu. And our referee in charge now to give instructions, Big John McCarthy. There you go, right here, Bubba right here. All right, gentlemen, went over the rules back in the locker room. I want a good, clean, hard fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. When I tell you to stop, I want you to stop. This is for the Strike Force Light Heavyweight Championship. Do I have any questions from the challenger? Any questions from the champion? Touch gloves now, step back, and let's get it on. Showtime Championship Boxing Super Six World Boxing Classic comes to you from two continents beginning October 17th and continuing on November 21st. Babalu Sabral, the older fighter and champion. The challenger, Gegard Musasi, incredible talent. He won the Dream Middleweight Grand Prix, and we're ready. Your corner, sit back. You ready? You ready? Let's get it on. The referee is Big John McCarthy, one of the best in the business. In fact, an encyclopedia of MMA knowledge. His book, Let's Get It On, comes out next month. The Ooh. first strike is a kick from both fighters. The same kick. Usasi very relaxed to start this fight. He has an amateur boxing background in Armenia. And as we know, the Armenians are terrific fighters. One in particular that fights in a regular on Showtime is Vic Darchinian. Sabral catches the body kick. This is the inside clinch game. And a takedown by Musasi. He gets the side control. This is the position where I thought he would finish Babalu if he could hold this position long enough. This is the fight the hardcore fans have been buzzing about. And quick shots by. Oh, look at Musasi. Babalu's been oh, over he's the out. Folks, yep. we got a star. He's arrived. The Armenian. Assassin. Assassin. In seconds. Wow. He is the real deal. Musasi has arrived. Make it 13 in a row, my friends. And he has it broken a sweat. Wow! Fedor Emelianenko, a huge acquisition for Strike Force, a game changer. But I'll tell you something, Gegard Mousasi, this guy is a superstar. He has just eviscerated Renato Babalu Sobral. Frank, you and I talked about it, and I know you gave Sobral the edge, but. Wow! Well, I just did not expect Musasi to be as explosive and as calm. It looked like he was walking in the park. They walked out, touch gloves. I thought they were going to exchange numbers. Can you tell that he has shared some training time with Fedor Emelianenko? Very similar in his deportment. 
Amazing. Another day at the office, 13 wins in a row, and here for the first time on Showtime, Gegard Musasi destroys Babalu. Let's take a look at the power from the side mount position of Musasi. He got that side mount. I knew he was going to be a good control position as Babalu tried to pop his hips out and make space. It set up a good ground and pound position for Musashi. Look, he's got his back up, he's on his feet, and he started teeing off, man. That right hand is getting through every single time. And each one, you can see Babalu kind of get a little bit lighter, lose a little bit more strength, and finally that last one was boom. Good call on Musashi. He saw he was out. He backed off right away even before the ref saw it. Again, just teeing off. Once Babalu's head was trapped in the cage there, he really had nowhere to go. Musashi getting the right distance to punch straight down on his head. That shot right there turned it off. What we were treated to was the calm before the storm of strikes. And this is what Big John saw. This is why he jumped in. Musashi just literally teeing off on Babalu. Those right hands landing on the chin. A good call by Big John. Thank you, Big John. <laughs> Let's make it official now with Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, have the time. One minute even in round number one. A referee in charge, Big John McCarthy, stops the contest due to strikes. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is the new Strike Force Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, the Dream Catcher, Gegard Musasi. I get that one. Wow. Up, Musasi is the real deal, bringing punching, striking, ground and pound. Finishing off our champion. Here are the numbers to the match. And what they say is <laughs> Musashi is the real deal when it comes to throwing punches. He landed 87% of his punches, 13 out of 15. He really picked those shots, landed accurate power punches, and he put Babalu away when it counted. Now let's take it up to Gus in the cage. Thank you very much, Moro Gegard. Incredible performance. Ironically, coming into this fight, three of your last five wins came via submission. But in this particular fight, you knew early on that uh, you could stand up with Babalu and take him out. I wanted to fight stand up. That was the game. But uh, if I can take advantage of takedowns, I, uh, I would have done it and I did it. So the game was to Keep it stand up and top position. You have an amateur uh, boxing background. The first time I saw you was uh, at the Middleweight Grand Prix with Dream in Japan. And now you come over to the United States. In your first fight in the United States, you become a champion. Yeah, it, it feels good. Uh, there was some pressure because it was the first time in U.S. And uh, I just wanted to perform well. So there was some pressure, but uh, at the end, I was relaxed. and. Uh, I was feeling very good. As you came into the cage, speaking of relaxed, you showed no emotion, you showed no anxiety or fear. How did you manage to keep your composure and, your, and control your emotions the way you did to start this fight? I, I had trained hard and uh, all the hard work I have to thank to my friends, my family, especially my brother, my mother. And I trained hard and my friends helped me. So knowing in the fight that I was ready. Congratulations, incredible performance, and we're looking forward to seeing you down the line. Thank you very much.